So, tell you what I'm doing. As usual, I got my ultra light on here. I got a little like quarter ounce sinker on. And what I'm doing is I'm just, oh, just screwing around mainly. But uh, let me try and get this. I got a loop in my line trying to get it out. So apparently it doesn't matter whether you're shad or dead or alive. So I'm just cruising around looking for structure. Just bouncing this little turd biscuit off the bottom. I'm just making sure it's on the bottom and giving a little sweep. Um, from what I found out, it does not matter whether your shad is dead or alive. They'll, they'll eat it just as long as it's on the bottom. So I start off with a live one, but they all usually end up dead. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, I got a leader on there. It's about two foot, two and a half, give or take. I'm not really good at measuring my distances. And, uh, just bouncing off the bottom. Keeping it about, I don't know, like 20 feet, 25 feet behind me in the kayak and just I'm looking for structure. I caught that guy right on some structure, which is usually we're gonna catch all your fish instead of just going for a flat bottom. If you're asking me what I do to set the hook on these things, I, I don't know what I'm doing on setting the hook. I just, uh, I just reel. And I am using little circle hooks. The color hook always matters too. I never, I always use black. I'm not a real big fan of people that use the golden hooks or the silver hooks. Usually though, if it's gold or silver, they're probably a cheaper quality. I'll occasionally use red. And I got some structure down there, there might be something. All right, yeah, so what I'm doing again, still I'm just putting along the edge here, trying to find a drop off. Just slowly bouncing it off the bottom. Just a real quick tap. You don't want to pull the uh, shad off your hook. I'm still not, I'm not seeing much structure on this lake, but uh, there, there's a little bit. Usually when I see some structure, I, every time I've seen structure in casting, I've caught, I've caught a fish, so that didn't help. Don't know what I got. Maybe it's a clown. Oh, baby clown. Don't use the net just to get him. Oh, he's an itty bitty one. Come here, buddy. I knew as soon as, uh, As soon as I saw that structure on the uh, depth sounder. Yeah, this guy's an itty bitty baby. It's a cute little baby clown. Man, let's get you back in the water here, buddy. Adios. Uh, small circle hook, and just hook them through the uh, nose with your weight up there and throw her out and give her hell. That's how you do her. Dead or all. Better one this time. I think I got a better one this time. I got a decent one. He's not super huge. There we go. Finally. Got him to jump. Show off to the cameras there. Jump for me, buddy. You ain't gonna jump. They fight better in the summertime. They swim backwards too, which is pretty cool. Come here, buddy. Got ya. All right. Hang on there, buddy. You're a bigger, you're a little bigger fish. They also got teeth. 
and they will mess you up. You can't see them that good, but no. Oh, I always want to use circle hooks so you don't hook them in the gut. They are invasive, but they're still such a cool fish. Gotcha. All right, round two with the camera here. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Let's let you go. Off to the deep. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, give it a uh, thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, if you don't like what you see, uh, give it a thumbs down. Leave your best insult below in the comment section down below. and. Uh, Share it with other people you don't like. This is a lionfish. Lake Ida, fishing for clown knife fish. Hopefully I taught you something. If you don't catch some fish, drink some beer.